Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing the OKI Reserve. Yeah, so this is a, I'm kind of honestly confused. I don't know if this is a one-time special release. At first I thought it was, but now I think they're just going to kind of keep doing the series where it's just going to be like a blend of certain things. Yeah. But I can't see how they're going to have a blend with this much old product in there again, because there is some good old MGP that is in this barrel. And you know, we bottle. it was in a barrel at one point. I don't know if y'all know how. Uh, I don't know if you know how bourbon works, but it, it was it was in there. So with this, we'll have Dave probably put up a whole bunch of pictures saying what it is, because there's a whole bunch of, the, there's basically five, five different things in there. Yeah, five different things. You have a low rye bourbon, a high rye bourbon, the rye, the traditional MGP rye mash bill. The there's a rye corn whiskey in there, and then a light whiskey. Now they all have different ages. So before even like really smelling this or whatever, I would just with that much MGP rye, I would just think that it's a minty baby. <laughs> <laughs> a mintiness to her. A mintiness. Yeah. Now. The cool thing about this is, is when we start reading the ages, you're like, oh, a bunch of eight-year-olds, ten-year-olds, and then all of a sudden there is a three to eight-year-old bl blend of the, I think it's the, yeah, it's the high rye bourbon. Now, you want to hear a little gossip time? A little, a little, I love, I love a gossip. rumor mill with this bottle. It's a nice looking bottle, too. Yeah, they did okay with packaging. Better than the other one. The other piece so, of so terrible. Such a so here, here's the rumor that we were told. And I like to think it's pretty pretty solid on the rumor part. So we were told that MGP was doing this blend, and they had a hiccup. Beep. And they meant to only have 8 to 10-year-old in this blend, and then all of a sudden, they accidentally put one 3-year-old barrel in there. Oops. And they had an oops. Now, how it kind of qualifies all of that, whenever you look at the back sticker, and you'll see where there is a 0.2% of this rye mat or rye bourbon that is that it was barreled 0.2%. 0.2%. And everything else you have like 7 and yeah. 23 and 26 and 4% 12%. So if you just have that 0.2 and that's to your 3 year old. See the problem is with MGP then they can't say it's it's at least an eight-year-old right. with ten-year that's mixed in it. Yeah, because now it has to be at least a minimum of, or it has to be a three. Yeah, because that's the youngest that's in there. So then we heard that they didn't want it for whatever reason, or the people who who they were going to sell it to didn't want it for whatever reason. And okay, I got it. So that was the that was the rumor we heard, and I've also heard that there was a lot of this stuff that was made. So like a lot. So so we're not sure how reserve. The reserve <laughs> is going to be. I'm just going to say there's going to be a shot. Like there's a couple liquor stores who normally don't get a lot. Yeah. That I'll, I'll occasionally go to, and they had cases of this stuff. Yeah. So I think there's going to be a decent amount of this going around. Now, to my knowledge, it's only going in Kentucky right now. I think it's going to go in Ohio, maybe. Well, if there's um, that much, then everybody's going to get. I it. think you you're going to have a real shot. Yeah. So. Have you had this before, by the way? I have had a nip of it. A nip. And then I sampled it out to, to a friend. Yeah. So, I do agree. You definitely get a little bit of that floral note. A yeah. smidge, a smidge, and I mean very little amount of dill. Your dill is my mint. That's what I always say. Like mm. you, when you say dill, I always smell mintiness. That's a, there is some nice fruit in there. Uh, it's like a green fruit. I don't know what I don't know what that would be. Maybe like an apple, or something. Yeah. All right. I do enjoy the nose. The nose to me is a is a big plus. It's very simple, but I really enjoy the nose. It's to me, it is an MGP rye nose. To me, mm -hmm. it has a little bit more sweetness to it. But that, but the hints of what makes an MGP are in there. That's what I. So I, you know what, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a 
kudos on this. Because now going back to it and smelling it just a little bit more, right after that floral, like right after that floral smell, you get, I, I, I smell the dill. I'm going to be honest. He questions me all the time. This is what I deal with. I don't all question you. I just, <laughs> it's in there. All right. So it has some really nice oak spice on the palate. The finish actually is kind of, for, for it being 100 proof, um, it actually has a really nice finish to it. It lasts a little bit. That spice kind of pops in there. I have one issue with this, though. It's that the front of the palate with this, and I felt like this before, the front of this palate with this bourbon wax. It's just, it's so, I mean, you could say it's a super easy sipper, but at the same time, there's just like nothing there. Like it just fades. And it's not that it's bad. There's nothing bad about it on the front of that palate. But man, it just feels like there is just like water just coating over the front of that palate. And then it turns into nice spice and oak <clears throat> and a little bit of like, a little bit of a floral note back there but it's just it's not i really like the finish and i really like the nose on this but man the front of that palette i feel like for people who like a little bit of a sweeter sweetness to it mm -hmm. i feel like it has a, a sweeter a, a sweeter taste right at the beginning of it then i think you're right there's not much else there except for just like a sweet taste um, and then it goes away, but I think you're right on the finish. I like uh, the finish has some staying power that I was from the palate wouldn't, I wouldn't think would be there. Oh yeah. If, if you're judging off palate, you'd be shocked. Cause it kind of drinks sweet and I'm not going to, I'm not comparing it to this, but it's, t t it, it drinks sweet like the basil Hayden toasted, like just sweet. Crush them down in the comments below. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, and I'm, also I'm, like and subscribe if you already have it. I'm not saying that it tastes like that. I'm just saying like Basil Hayden has a, I mean, it's all sweet. Are you talking like the vanilla part of the yeah, sweetness? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm saying, I'm not saying this is 17,000 times better than the Basil Hayden uh, toasted, but um, I, that's where, that's what I think. It's just real sweet. And then, but the finish is where it's at to me. I don't even like the nose very much on this. Oh, you know, you uh, see, I love the nose. But I like the finish. I love the nose and I love the finish. It's just, man, the, the palette to that, the front of the palette to me, where, you know, it, it just... Going back to it, you get a little mintiness in the, in, the, in the palette on that. You also get, like, a nice little, like, cola note on the finish of that. Towards the, towards the back end of the palette, start of the finish, nice little cola note, and I like that. That's all right. So where do you lean? I'm glad I didn't buy it. <laughs> so for everybody, this is, it. it's about 80 bucks. Now, we always talk about 10 year, about $10 a year. Yeah. Some people want to argue if that's good value or not. I think it's good value at the end of the day. Depends, you know, on, depends on what the bourbon, well, what, sure, the, what the whiskey sure. tastes I mean, like. I guess, I guess. <laughs> but for us being 80 bucks, you got a lot of 10 year old, eight year old, you have a smidge of three. Um, I, I expected a little more complexity to it with that much mm -hmm. age in it. I, it just kind of seems real simple. It is. Okay. That I can agree with. There's on the not, palate. There's not a ton of complexity with there. And I don't know. This is my opinion. I don't think that one three-year-old barrel that got in there, I'm guessing it's one three-year-old. Three-year-old barrel that got in there is what is throwing all this off. I, I don't I don't think that's it. I don't know what it is. I, I don't, don't think know, there's enough of that to really... Exactly. I don't, I don't think there's enough of that in there to affect it. I don't know if it's the rye corn whiskey. I mean, or, I can see why, why some people who, you know, would want to stay away from it because they can't call it a 10-year... Sure, sure. I also think that people... I think a lot of people are going to love this because this thing is crushable. Like you can, you can drink a lot of this, especially probably if you put it on the rocks 
and you could destroy it. It's going to be completely. That, it's going to be completely sweet on the rocks. Like yeah, because it's going to take a lot of spice yeah. out towards yeah, the back end for sure. End with a little oh, bit yeah, of water, a little bit of ice. Yeah, you could. You could. So it. I think to me, I think this is this is somewhere between a try and a buy for me. I'm I'm definitely closer for me on a try side than a buy side. There's a lot more traditional notes. There's a lot more. I I think it's a lot more spice and sweet, like what. I'm getting I, and a little, I think you get a lot more sweet than spice than what I do. I get the spice. The spice is definitively on the back end of it. Like to yeah. me, I, I get all the spice on the back end. Uh, and I after those, like, after just sitting here and letting it kind of let my taste bud, I'm getting a little tobacco-y taste uh, on the back side of it too, mm-hmm. um, which I'll be honest, I like a tobacco taste. So mm-hmm. the finish yeah. is even better than, uh, than what it was two minutes ago. So. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, let us know what you think in the comments below. So, if you get a chance to try it or not. So, or if you've bought it already, tell yeah. us what you think. Tell us what you think. Yeah, so. for sure. All right. Well, till next time, we'll see you. See you.